welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball drawing to doll and craft related content. Today I have a doll unboxing. So um, this is my second doll from artist Aishavoya. Um, it's A-I-S-H-A-Y-A-B-O-Y-A. -A um, and my first doll I got from them was, oh, you can't see it because of my ring light, but um, was my Larkspur. And she's a 3D printed doll, and I have now received this one, which is obviously much, much smaller, but it is meant to be um, the tiny, I, I don't know if it's Lark, but it's like the tiny fairy. It's like Lark. It might, it might be Lark, but um, it's a little blue fairy, and uh, I'm just so excited because tinies are so cute, especially like to be in pictures with bigger dolls. I just think they're so cute. So this arrived in less than a week, so like super quick. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited to check her out. Okay, so first it comes bubble wrap like this. And we have this on the side. Um, I don't, did I say this is a 3D printed doll? Um, I'm really starting to like 3D printed dolls again. I think I like traumatized myself by making them um, without, a lot of time to make them um and also by using the wrong resins uh now that i've moved on to better resins i quite like making 3d printed dolls and it might be something i get back into in the future um but right now i see a really sweet little blue this is the larger chest um we have yeah this is definitely it looks like lark it's like a little lark face plate there are some extra teeny tiny hands and then some large wings these okay. she's wearing a set of wings i believe now but like these that's incredible i believe that that's 3d printed as well um there is a kind of resin that is completely clear but it's the finish on these are be it's beautiful really 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 pretty i would love to finish them with um some like glitter and stuff and maybe some like watercolor markers or pens or just paint I think that'd be really pretty like um what's it called the glass stained glass effect all right let's uh let's open up this doll and check her out so she is bubble wrap I can kind of see her in there she is very very pretty blue roll 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 Oh, she has a wig too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, oh, her hair is kind of caught in the tape. Oh, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Okay. She's rescued. So she has a wig on. Um, oh, it's falling off. I'm just going to take it off for a moment because it, it's fighting me. Okay magnet for except for the wig is the wig magnetic I don't believe so I'm, I'm not sure what the magnet on her head is for the first thing I'm gonna say is I am extremely impressed by this face up on such a tiny doll and she has does have a smaller set of wings on like that is such a tiny face up. I am so incredibly impressed by that. And the resin is really, really soft. She does have some of that powdering, but like that's a 3D print doll thing. They're like, 3D print dolls are gonna do that. Um, but the posability and the wrists is really nice. I think it's a similar body to Lark. I'm not sure. Um, it's definitely a similar style. Oh, she might be glue suede. -ed. Or her pieces were just sticking that's all so she can get some pretty good mobility going oh squeaky squeaky um and then she leans back and forward those are the tiniest resin eyes i have ever seen in my life and she came with a wig i think it might be alpaca but um we'll just put that on there for now um, it might not be alpaca, I'm really not sure, but it, it's very pretty and it's obviously well done. So let 
me just get some blue tack. I'm really wondering um, if I'm gonna have any clothes that will fit her. I hope so. Um, let me just, um, the OSG stuff is too big, too big. Even that is too big. Those are too big. That's too big. Oh, I've got some like Blythe tights. Those might, they're still too big, but we're gonna try them. I have a rainbow high hoodie. That might fit. Um, she's so itty bitty. Oh, I've got these little like tiny purple pants and a pair of really tiny white pants. I'm gonna, okay, we might, we might be able to get some clothes on her. That would be fantastic. All right, well, that's all I've got. So I'm gonna try the white pants first, because that would be ideal. I don't know how like much a fairy is meant to be wearing like casual clothing. I think the artist mentioned she fits rain, not rainbow high, um, monster high clothes well. Um, these are some like really slim Blythe pants. They are a bit long, but they do technically fit. So we're gonna go with them. And then for the top, so I'm wondering about the wings. I wonder if I can tuck her wings down in any way. Okay, so her wings kind of stick up over the top of this one, but um, at least I can get it on her. Uh, it does make her look thicker than she is, but that's okay, at least she is dressed wig back on and it's actually quite cute I think she's just in her like knitted fall wear and then her wings are kind of more subtle if I pull her hair out of the way we can get her wings to kind of stick out a little bit and I think she is really quite cute and so petite I think she might be the smallest like slimmest tiniest little doll like she's smaller than my teeny tinies or more petite than them at least. Um, I guess my micro dolls are smaller, but like this is a little itty bitty seven, I think about seven inches. She is so teeny tiny. Have you ever had a doll this small? What do you think of dolls this small? If you're already subscribed to my channel, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.